Illustrator and After Effects should feel like companion applications, not rivals. Let each app's strength complement the other. Let Illustrator become a plugin for After Effects. Work with shapes, not files. This is the creed of the Overlord plugin. A big part of my workflow is importing assets from Illustrator into After Effects. Before Overlord, this was a pain in the ass. Layers get imported as Illustrator files, adding an extra step if you want to convert them to shape layers. Illustrator gradients turn grey or get rasterized when importing instead of converting to After Effects gradients. And you have to prep your Illustrator file and layers in a really specific and tedious way so that After Effects will accept it. This is why you should be using Overlord. Let's jump in. Overlord allows you to push shapes from Illustrator to After Effects as needed using this button. You can push individual shapes groups, and full layers. Notice here that the layer names are retained. You can even push text and it will stay as a text layer in After Effects. You can even pull something from Illustrator. If I select something in Illustrator, switch to After Effects and click Pull. This is effectively the opposite process to push. If you want to add a shape to a specific layer that already exists, you can select it in After Effects switch to Illustrator using this button, hold shift and click push. Here you can see the new shape in our After Effects shape layer. You can use these modifiers to change the behavior of the push and pulls. Enabling this option will split an Illustrator group or layer into multiple After Effects layers, one for each shape. Disabling this option will cause all shapes to be transferred to a single layer. Enabling this option will center all anchor points when importing. Disabling this option will place the anchor point at the composition center. This option will make sure no matter where your object is in Illustrator, it will be in the center of your After Effects composition after importing. In After Effects, rectangles and spheres have special behaviors such as roundness and size. These are known as parametric shapes. Illustrator treats all shapes the same way. Enabling this option will automatically detect when you are importing rectangles or spheres and convert them to After Effects parametric shapes to give you access to those unique properties. You can import guides from Illustrator to After Effects by using the Push Guides to After Effects button. Standard Illustrator does not support importing gradients into After Effects. You would have to rasterize them first if you wanted to do that. Overlord allows you to do this, which is awesome. There are some technicalities and exceptions due to the way the programs work. Like Illustrator has the capability to apply gradients along or across stroke, but After Effects simply doesn't. So if you try to import this kind of gradient, it would be converted to a standard a linear gradient but for the most part it's incredibly useful and does exactly what it's meant to if you are interested in learning what these technicalities are i've posted a link to the overlord manual in the description working with colors between illustrator and after effects can be a pain overlord allows you to push selected swatches in illustrator to after effects as guide layers if you select multiple swatches it will create one combined guide layer Remember that guide layers won't appear in your final render. There is also integration with the Ray Dynamic Color plugin if you own it. Finally, you can create an empty artboard in Illustrator with the same dimensions as your selected composition in After Effects by using the Matching Artboard from Comp button. By default, symbols cannot be transferred over to After Effects easily. You can use the Break Symbols button in Overlord to convert your symbol to a shape first before pushing it to After Effects. Hopefully you can see now why you should be using the Overlord plugin. Before we end, I just want to let you guys know that I have set up a Discord server for animators and designers to chat about everything animation and get feedback on their work from other motion junkies. Come be a part of this new community. I've also set up a Patreon for anyone who wants to support my work, but this is completely optional of course. There will be a link in the description where you can see the benefits. I hope this video was useful guys, let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, like the video and hit the bell for notifications of new uploads. And as always, see you on the flippity flop.